Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. Over the past 24 hours, there has been moderate solar activity, with the largest solar event being an M1 event observed from region 3245. Currently, there are 11 numbered sunspot regions on the disk. Looking ahead, solar activity is expected to be low, with a chance for M-class flares and a slight chance for an X-class flare over the next three days. The geomagnetic field has been at quiet to active levels over the past 24 hours, with solar wind speed reaching a peak of 467 km per second at 09 1718 Z. Total IMF reached 8 NT at 09 0734 Z, and the maximum southward component of BZ reached minus 8 NT at 09 0614 Z. Electrons greater than 2 mega electron volts at geosynchronous orbit reached a peak level of 3480 Fu. The forecast for the geomagnetic field is for it to be at quiet to unsettled levels over the next three days. However, despite the recent quiet activity, the Earth is still set to be impacted by a solar storm today, March 9. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, has reported that multiple M-class solar flares erupted from the notorious sunspot AR3234 over the weekend, releasing a huge amount of coronal mass ejection CME, towards the Earth. While the incoming solar storm is expected to be minor, it could still spark auroras in the Arctic circles. But if the storm is a G2-class storm, it could potentially disrupt wireless communications and GPS services, causing trouble for airlines, mariners, ham radio controllers, and drone operators. NOAA monitors solar storms and the sun's behavior using its Discover satellite, which measures temperature, speed, density, degree of orientation, and frequency of the solar particles. The data is then run through the Space Weather Prediction Center for final analysis. While this solar storm may not be a major one, it is a reminder of the importance of monitoring and predicting space weather, and the potential impact it can have on our daily lives. We hope this information was informative and useful for you. We thank you for watching, and if you found this content interesting, please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on space weather and related topics.